Today I'm going to show you an awesome effect that you can use to show off and gain more clients. I'm going to teach you how to make this effect both in Premiere Pro and After Effects. It's actually a two-part effect. We're going to transform from this record player into the wheel of my car. It's actually a match cut, but a little bit advanced. First, you'll have to film two videos. My first clip is one of a record player. Film it from above and rotate the camera at the same speed as the vinyl is playing. That will give it the illusion as if the camera is locked to the record player player. Then do the same thing with your car. Let someone else drive forward very slowly and turn your camera with the wheel of your car. Make sure to film both the clips in the same direction. Now put both of the clips in Premiere and that already looks pretty smooth. Now for the first part, we're gonna make sure the car wheel is centered and stable. That's gonna make the effect 10 times better. All right, enable the safe margins and the rulers in the program monitor. Then drag these guides out of it and center it. Next, select the car clip and head over to the effect controls. Make sure the playhead is on the first frame of the clip and increase the scale and position so that the wheel is aligned with the center of the guidelines. Then set a position keyframe. Click the motion properties to enable transform. In the program monitor, hover your cursor to the timeline underneath your video and use your scroll wheel to move a few frames further in time. Then adjust the position again. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. And as you can see, your wheel is now perfectly in the middle and it will stay there. For the record player, do the exact same thing. And now both the clips are floating into each other seamlessly. Before I'm gonna explain speed ramping, I'll show you how to do this in After Effects as well. It's super simple. Select both your clips and right click them. Then choose replace with After Effects composition. This will open up an After Effects project. Right here in the timeline, you will see your two clips. First, expand the transform properties of the record player. Now with the playhead on the first frame of the clip, increase the scale and make it as big as you want. Then adjust the position roughly to put it in the middle of the frame. Next, go to the tracker panel and click the stabilize motion button. This will open up the layer panel and this is where we're gonna track the middle of the record. Simply click and drag the tracker to a high contrast part in the middle and then click on track forward. If something goes wrong, simply click stop and adjust the tracking point, then continue tracking. Next, click on edit target. Make sure the record player is selected, then hit OK. Next, click on apply and then on OK again. As you can see, it's now perfectly stabilized. All right, now you gotta do the same thing for your wheel clip and that's how you do it in After Effects. Now it's time to blend them together using speed ramping. But first, a word from the sponsor of today's video, One Browser. Now, a simple way to make money as a video editor is by making videos for One Browser. All you need to do is mention One Browser naturally in your videos and you'll get paid. But now, what is One Browser? It's a VPN powered browser designed for privacy and security. It allows you to access any website without restrictions, stay invisible, online, manage multiple accounts on one platform and use built-in VPN and proxies to change your location. Well, here's how you can start earning with the referral program. First of all, you'll get $7 per video for just mentioning one browser. Now, per thousand views that you generate on YouTube, you'll get an extra $10. Imagine your YouTube AdSense being $10 per thousand views. That would be awesome. Also, you're not required to make a full review. You just have to mention one browser in your usual content like tech videos, tutorials, vlogs, anything. Now, the best part is that you can make just one video per month and if your content performs really well, you can even get special deals and contracts to earn even more. If you wanna get started, click the link in the description down below for full details on how to sign up. So create the video, mention one browser and start earning money today. All right, back to Premiere. So we stabilized our shots which means it's time for number two and that is speed ramping so we tracked those two clips in premiere before now to use speed ramps right click the effects button and go to time remapping and then choose speed this will open up the speed line the higher you drag this the faster your clip will play now we want the clip to start slow and go faster gradually to do that hold down control and click somewhere on your line then drag the second part of the keyframe up to speed up the right part then drag the keyframes away from each other to make the clip speed up gradually. Then click and drag the lever to ease the animation even more. Now all you need to do is fine tune your clip until it looks exactly the way you want. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the second clip but in reverse. So make sure the time remapping feature is enabled on your clip. Then hold down control and click to create a keyframe. This time drag up the first part of your clip to speed it up. Again drag the keyframes away from each other and pull the lever to ease the speed ramp animation. If you're having
having trouble with these curves, it's completely normal. Just keep messing around with them. Once you're done, make sure to again fine tune both the clips. Trim them around until you're happy. Then snap the two videos against each other and there you have it, an awesome match cut with a speed ramp in Premiere Pro. Now, if you want your speed ramps to look a lot better, you're gonna love this. All right, so go back to the After Effects project from before where we used the Tracker Stabilizer. Now it's time to speed ramp in here. To do that, we're gonna first pre-compose your clip. Simply right-click it and go to Pre-Compose. Make sure the second one is enabled, then click on OK. We're doing this because otherwise the speed ramp effect is not gonna work. The next step, right-click your clip and go to Time. Then click on Enable Time Remapping. This will allow you to manipulate the time by using keyframes. First, move the playhead to the first keyframe. With the time control in here, you can choose when your clip starts. So let's say I want my video to start at this frame. Now move forward in time, about two seconds, and then right now, go back to the time controls and increase it to the point where your video should cut to the second video. This will now play the entire selection between those two keyframes. If you drag them further away from each other, the clip will play back slower. If you drag them closer to each other, the clip will play faster. You can trim away everything outside the keyframes, by the way, we don't need that. Now select the first keyframe and hit F9 on your keyboard to ease it. Then with the keyframe selected, go to the graph editor. Then right here on the bottom, make sure edit speed graph is enabled. All right, now make sure the first keyframe is selected and pull the lever to make the animation ease out more aggressive. That looks good. Now go back to the timeline and in here, drag the start of the second clip against the end of the first one. Then of course, don't forget to pre-compose the second clip as well, just as we learned before. Now trim away the first part until you reach the end of the clip. Then right click again, go to time, then enable time remapping. This time click the keyframe button on the left. That will add a keyframe. Again with the time controls, choose the moment where you want the video to start. Go forward in time again and increase the time until you're at the end of the camera movement. This time you want to select the second keyframe and hit F9 to ease it. Then again go to the graph editor and pull the lever of the second keyframe to ease the animation in. That looks cool but to make sure it doesn't slow down too much, drag the last keyframes a little bit up in time. That will make sure you won't have a choppy frame rate at the end. That looks awesome, but now we're gonna add some motion blur. Find the CC Force motion blur in the effects library and drag it on the first clip. Then in the effect controls, play around with the motion blur samples and the shutter angle to customize the amount of blur. 180 degrees looks most natural by the way. Then do the same thing on the second clip and there you go. You just created a sick match cut speed ramp animation transition, whatever you want to call it. Now, to learn how to create this awesome speed ramp and color animation in Premiere Pro, click here to watch part one of the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching.